UNESCO is finalising its latest list of cultural treasures that it says must be prote protected, and reggae has made the cut. The UN body decreeing that, ja that Jamaican music must be part of the world's intangible cultural heritage and should therefore be promoted. Reggae then joining uh, the ranks of the Grand Canyon and the Old City of Jerusalem as UNESCO at World Heritage Sites. Well, to talk a little more about this, then we're joined here on set by France 24's uh, James Vecina, who has uh, spent the last year uh, studying reggae. Uh, very good to have you with us on the programme. Good evening. Uh, first of all, then, uh, tell us why is this uh, UNESCO uh, list significant for reggae? Well, this is really important and really it's something that's really long overdue. Um, partly because reggae music is often overlooked as a music genre itself, uh, whether it's for the styles that it's given to, so the subgenres, or as well as the types of production, the recording techniques that have been used and have given birth to so many types of music that we listen to today, whether it's hip hop or rap or even techno, these are styles of music that have their roots in reggae recording. Um, and just to think that the number of styles that have come within reggae music, uh, this also makes that reggae is not just one simple genre, it's actually very complicated. Yeah, that said, though, of course, reggae music has really, it's an un, has an unconventional background. Mm. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, often when I mean it's a music, kind of music that's overlooked, I mean that a lot of people don't think it's necessarily a serious style of music. Um, but actually nothing could be further from the truth. This is a style of music that comes from the poorest of the poor. Uh, it's born in downtown, in the ghettos of Kingston, Jamaica. And really, these are people who had no voice no voice in terms of from the government. And they created, through creating their own music, they actually created a voice for themselves to speak up to the elite uh, by who they were being actually oppressed and used by other politicians and others. Um, so it's because it's a kind of music that's going against the upper class, if you want, it had a difficult time coming in and being accepted by the wider audience. So the fact that today it's being recognized by UNESCO could mean that it's becoming part of the mainstream. It's actually getting this recognition. But this is actually coming at a time where it's a, the, finally the Jamaican government is kind of giving, uh, it's been giving awards to a lot of musicians. Um, but a lot of these musicians, a lot of the pioneers who started this, the, the style of music, sadly they've passed away and they're no, no longer with us. But for the, the, the musicians who's, who are still here with us, they're at, how nice is it you know, for them to be able to reap the benefits and see their, the, the awards that they're getting, the recognition that they're finally getting. Indeed, definitely uh, something to celebrate. And as you were saying there, uh, it's clear uh, reggae has a long history. Give us a sense of where it is today. Well, today, reggae doesn't just mean Jamaica. It's gone international. And by international, very soon, actually, when, when it's created, it went uh, mostly to Anglophone countries, so in the UK, where there's a huge uh, Jamaican community, but actually also here in France, um, although it's, we're not an English speaking country, there's a huge, huge demand for reggae music. The number of festivals here is, is outstanding. And a lot of people have started to talk about uh, Paris as becoming the capital of reggae. So the popularity that it has here is, is just, no one would have seen it coming. And with all that, it brings also the culture, the sound system culture with it as well. So it's really it's something exploding and it's great to see that this is finally being recognised. Indeed. Thank you very much indeed. James Eversina there talking to us there about reggae, which has uh, now been listed uh, by UNESCO as one of its global uh, cultural uh, treasures. Thanks to James and thanks to you for watching France 24. That's it for us here in the